Hey everybody, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on how to do the repulsors on Iron Man. It's actually quite easy, it's the same process I do for lightsabers, um, but I'm going to teach it anyway. I'm starting off with this tutorial with Iron Man pre-masked. Um, if you don't know how to mask an image, just there are dozens of tutorials already, I'm not going to go over masking. The first thing you want to do is uh, go to layer up here, new layer doesn't matter what the layer is called, I just call it layer. Make sure it's set to transparency. Okay, get the free select tool up here, and then you want to, be, and then uh, you're gonna uh, mark out the area where you want your, uh, the blue part of the repulsor to be. So I'm gonna do that quickly. So let's see here. Uh, this isn't gonna look very pretty, but, uh, no, this, I'm very finicky when it comes to this kind of stuff. And then uh, there we go. And then just select a. Uh, you can cut across because that actually makes it look kind of better. So now that you have this area selected, select a blue color. I think I have one already picked out here. Select the pencil and then color this area in. I'm gonna wanna do this for the other foot, um, uh, the hand and the other hand too. All right, so now that we have uh, all the areas marked out, uh, it's okay, it'll look better here in a second. What we want to do is go to select up here. Um, sorry, uh, none. So that nothing is, absolutely nothing is selected. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Here we go. I suggest doing pixels because that's the easiest thing. Blur radi radius, uh, this pretty much uh, says how much it's blurred. Make sure it's crucial that you do select none or else um, it'll blur it within this uh, area and that won't look very good. So just do experiment what works with you. For this particular picture, I'm just setting it to 150. However, you might want to mess around with that. And now I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing with uh, the core of the, the energy beam. Um, so I'm just going to go to make a new layer. Again, transparency, same settings. And I do pretty much the same thing with the white core. But the, the Gaussian blur process is a bit different. Um, but let's see here do this. This is just going to be a little demonstration and then I'll fast forward through the rest. Up here, like this. Switch these guys so now that I have white selected and just fill in the white core like so. And um, you just want to do that on all of all four of these, the limbs. And yeah, I'll be right back once I do so. Alright, so now that we got all the cores filled out here, as I can show you, we do the Gaussian blur that again, but this time it's a little different. And then again we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You want to make this one a lot uh, smaller, a lot less pixels than the uh, the original repulsor, I guess the blue part. I'm gonna just uh, mess around, see if 50 looks good, but yeah. There you go. There's your uh, there's your Iron Man. He looks like he's levitating off the ground. And when I was masking it, um, I left a little bit of shadow here, so it looks like he was levitating. So yeah, guys, that's how you um, make the little repulsor rays. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, because I know with these types of tutorial videos, everyone uh, or not everyone, but there are always a lot of questions, and I'd be happy to help you guys out so that you can maybe put this in your videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching once again. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.